Yes, ma'am, you are audible. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. The next one is problem solving. Problem solving. Uh, we have seen. So, what is this problem solving, and how it helps in team building? Everybody comes out with a different ideology of solution. So, the best one will be among group members by discussing. We can get a good solution for a any situation, any problem. Yes. Exactly. And it uh, helps in overcoming the challenges and not only that, challenges. it improves the processes also. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, and this is develops. Exactly, ma'am. Mom, mom, mom. Mom, mom, mom. Dad? Yes. The next one, trust. Dad? Definitely, as ma'am and a few other uh, educators also have shared this, trust. So establishing and maintaining a trust will... Uh, Encourage the team members to have a collaboration and have a positive working environment. So yes, next slide. Yes. Okay, now uh, we are continuously seeing some of the key skills. Now we'll do some energizer. Clap together. If I'm saying one, one clap you have to do. Shall we? Yes. Clap. If you can audio, I mean, on your uh, video also, it would be fine. Clap. Two clap. Three clap. Clap. Okay, by doing so, uh, what happens? It gives energy to us. Okay. So you all are getting energy, it, yeah. Yeah, it is like a fun thing. Okay. Okay. Motivation so kind. It is also motivating. Yes, motivating, motivating and it develops a competition. Competition among everyone. Everyone. Sir, uh, please give enter, sir, please. So bring attention towards you. Even in class, we used to do, no, when students are uh, talking, we will give a clap. Or we will say numbers one, two, yes. three, like that. Okay, now we will have a yes, rhythm. Yes, yes, yes. Correct. Any rhythm, any one participant can do. Any rhythm, like a two claps, something you can do it. Some rhythm you uh, do it. Encourage. Thank you, Deepti, ma'am. Some rhythm, any one participant, please do it. If you uh, turn on your video, it would be fine. Oof. Yes? Yes, some rhythm like two claps, something. Oh, awesome, man. Awesome. Thank you so much, ma'am. Beautiful. Uh, sir, uh, enter, please. By doing so, what happens? Engaging. Engaging. Beautiful. Yes. And follow my words. Follow my words. Like uh, if I'm saying uh, orange means you need to tell the color. I mean opposite color of orange. Okay, let me try. Apple. White. Banana. Red. Yellow. Gray. Green. Okay, thank you. So, by doing so, what happens? You're forced to think. Critical thinking. Yes. Critical concentration. thinking. Concentration, yes, critical thinking. Concentration, exactly. critical thinking. Beautiful. Uh, sir, please uh, give enter, sir. Attention. Thank you, Meenu, ma'am. So, you will have concentration. Thank you for uh, doing this energizer. Now let's get into the topic. Uh, sir, next slide, please. 
okay so we have seen few key skills that are uh, necessary for us to build a good team not only like uh, conflict uh, resolution problem solving organizational skills we have few more also as you all have told delegation is one of the important thing in a team right we need to know yes. how to assign the task and based on what we can assign the task when you are assigning a task to a team member a team member, exactly so based Person on team ability member, yes yes based uh, on the understanding of uh, what to achieve what to achieve achieve goals yes thank you ma'am thank you so we need to i mean uh allocate the uh, or assigning the task in such a way what is the strength of the team member what is their strength what mm. is their skill we need to see and not only that we must ensure that the task is effectively assigned to each one and each one are giving their full potential that is very very important to achieve our goal right mm. and uh, a few educators have told this the last picture what is that um, a man is pointed no what is that not to hold anybody solely responsible for failure uh, responsible for everything accountable we are accountable we are responsible accountable for our work yeah uh, when when you are working as a team or an individual also we will be having but as a team when we are doing definitely each one of our team has a uh, and uh, resp responsibility responsible responsibility accountability and not only that we need to i mean uh, go with our uh, society mm -hmm. like we need to update ourselves so that we can work efficiently yes. to achieve our goals uh, goal I correct hope, uh, i hope uh, all these uh, skills uh, uh, you have understood and some takeaway would be there thank you for giving this opportunity now over to ashwini ma'am no thank you very much ma'am thank you ma'am and you all have answered beautifully really i enjoyed i enjoyed we too enjoyed thank you very much thank you ma'am thank you good evening dear participants uh, good evening uh, ma'am gayatri ma'am it was really engaging and informative presentation thank you for your valuable insist ma'am thank you ma'am yes okay now here i'm not going to explain you something or i'm not go going to ask few questions like that here i am going to make you some activities are you ready i want uh, every all the participants to take a pen and a paper i request all the participants to take a pen and a paper we have some activity now can okay. <coughs> so are you ready with the paper and pen or pencil yes. whichever is fine pencil just will be second. better just a second ashwini ma'am i'm sharing the ppt just a second yes 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 sir i'll wait <laughs> if possible i request the participants to turn on your cameras ऑडियो कोड ऑन है रिकॉर्ड कर रहा हूं सो ब्लाइंड ड्राइंग वन स्लाइड स्लाइड विल बी देयर कैन यू प्लीज गो टू दैट स्लाइड सर
Yes. Okay. Here, blind drawing. Can anyone guess what this activity is going to be? Any guesses? Any guesses, dear participants? Following the words and concentrating on what it is told. Okay. You are going to follow the words and uh, you are going to draw something. Okay. For and this activity... Listening, listening yes. to instructions, imagining what to draw okay imagination imagination okay thank you for your answers here when we are doing this activity in a physical state that is in the offline mode we can divide the groups into one or two groups with the four to five people in a group and yes. one group member can be shown this picture which is the exact picture and mm -hmm. or steps other people are going to other teammates are going to draw the thing or they are going to do the other things as it is a online session now i want all the participants to do i'll give a step by step instructions what you have to do uh, listening to me you will draw one picture let's see what it is going to be if everyone is ready with a paper and a pen pencil something Yes. Are yes. you ready? Yes. Yes. Now, yes. first draw a small circle. Draw a small circle. It is going to be the head part. So how it is going to be, you just think and you draw. Draw a head. Circle for a head. First step draw a circle which is going to be a head done yes yes second step next to the first drawn circle add a larger circle under the head add a larger head circle Now, step three, draw even more larger circle under the second one. Okay. Where we will put hat? The second one. No. Hat, hat. Like cap something. Hat, first, first, one, one, first cap. one. First one. First, first one. one. So, to make a heart, start the heart with a sideways of yes. It is going to be somewhat a curve, yes. In the first circle, that is head part. And fifth step is draw the top of the heart above the head. Yeah. Now, uh, First circle and the second circle, in between that part, make a scarf-like line or curve. Scarf. Done, dear participants? Done? Yes. Have you done? Now, step number eight, add arms and buttons in the second circle. Arms like uh, lines, some slanting lines for hands and some buttons in the second circle. And Draw the scarf ends and add the face with the two eyes, a lengthy nose.
Any guesses what will be this picture? Snowman. Yes, snowman. Exactly. it's a snowman. Okay, why we did this one in teamwork? Why this blind drawing is done in teamwork? First one, understanding the issue. Second okay. thing, working under team. Excellent, ma'am. Very good answer. When we work under a team, we have to listen to everyone's opinions, suggestions or instructions, right? Uh, if it is like I am the leader, whatever I say, that only you people should listen. That only should be done. If the mindset is like that, will a team succeed? No. It Project will never achieve success. Or work or program, whatever it is, will a team succeed? No way. It no will way. Not so here, line drawing represents how we listen to our teammates, how we concentrate and how we yes. uh, give some inputs and we exp we are gaining outputs over there. Next slide, sir. Yes, yes. Can I, can I see Next slide. Can I see Next Sir, next slide, sir. Okay. Next, sir. <coughs> okay. Here, uh, that one snowman. Already you people have answered it is a snowman. Now, here we have some more uh, something. It was going to be funny and it is going to be interactive also, I guess. That is... Uh, achievement sharing. Why we share our achievement in the team with the team or in the teamwork? So that it's a one thing success we are sharing. Second thing, okay. I, unknowingly we are motivating our team members also to achieve the success in completing the task. Superb, ma'am. Yes, Marina, ma'am, you want to say something? No, ma'am. Same Thank thing what ma'am ma said. Encouraging others in the team. Okay. Now, achievement sharing. Here I have given two points. That is one cool fact. True, two truths and a lie. Diverse ideas helps everyone. Thank you, Isabel, mm -hmm. ma'am, for your uh, answer. Here, how we can implement this part in a teamwork? How it will be useful? Will everyone be able to come out to share one cool fact or two truths and a lie? Sometimes. It all depends on person. If a person is having that courage to share, a person will come out one cool fact and the truth else will come out. Sometimes people, they will not be that much free enough to share their ideas. They keep that with them and later they share with the, their uh, friends. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. So now here, instead of saying it as an achievement sharing, we can call it as an icebreaker game. Yes, icebreak. So uh, here, while classic icebreaker games involve sharing like one cool fact or two truths and a lie can be a great way to get the conversation started. Achievement sharing takes it a step further. So now how we can conduct this game in the office? That is in an offline uh, time. Providing mm. opportunities for deeper connections. Break your team into small groups. In one group, only five members should be there. No more than five members. And give mm. everyone time to share their greatest achievement. If more than five members are there, at some point, even the teammates will not have patience to listen to other point, others' points, and it will be yes. it will take more time. So yes, of course, less than five members, so that everyone will get a chance to uh, tell Speak. their achievement, or it will be uh, time will be sufficient to share their facts. Now. This will likely get more people talking and it teaches your team about their colleagues' values, skills, and mm. more. 
and when you share your uh, feelings of your uh, success or something even you will feel some feel somewhat fun over there no no ma okay now i want any one participant to share one cool fact if more than one uh, participant is ready i am happy one cool fact come on dear participants please be active one cool fact one cool fact it can be about you about your school about your children something can you please share please participants come past <coughs> uh one cool fact i am always planned with my work it makes me oh today's work i am done it's very without any tension i complete my task that is my cool fact excellent ma any other answers dear participants okay shall we move to the second one two truths and a lie can anyone come up two <laughs> truths and a lie two truths sir in a today's life is all teachers are working that is the truth <laughs> yes ma'am <laughs> all are working and uh, some feel that they have been uh, discouraged that is a big lie nowadays okay because of this new thing collaborative and uh, coordination has taken more place these are the two important facts discrimination happening is a biggest lie i feel so okay ma'am yes any other answers any other points dear participants please come forward with your answers encouraging a team member in that team okay okay now team jigsaw puzzle i think yes sir it's okay we'll move to the next slide team jigsaw puzzle uh one of the host made you to play this one can you say who's that in today's session uh first madam yeah okay. meenu ma'am made you to play this uh, one yes 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 she has what you observed in this she explained here we are not going to play or we are i am not going to ask you to uh, do this activity here in uh, in online mode ma'am showed you few pictures like puzzles and she asked you to uh, tell which proverb or idiom it is when it is in the online mode how you can offline mode how you can do this is for this activity start by dividing the room into group of 2 to 4 give each group a jigsaw puzzle and tell them they have 20 minutes to complete it as your teams work they'll notice that some of their pieces are missing or rather that pieces have been swapped with another team's puzzle employees must work with their teammates and opposing teams to get the pieces they need here one thing you can note they are not going to work only with their team if the puzzle is missing they have to go and work with the other team also how can they do it what will be the benefit of doing this one that is searching and uh, taking the puzzles which is swapped into the other team one is searching uh, yes ma'am the team work it is we are making uh, bringing all of them together at one place okay another one collaborating getting interact with uh, other team members okay a positive approach is possible yes ma'am inquiry so method is, inquiry method is going on because our okay. thing is missing means we are going and searching in their thing so we are yes. asking them so that makes us to have an inquiry thing okay ma'am excellent so now here we are not only working as a one particular 
team we are going and searching in someone's team or we are asking someone's that whether my puzzle is with you or something it makes the entire team to work together instead of one team all the teams will work together here next slide sir Just a second, ma'am. I'll share the video. Yes, sir. Yes, what you observed in that video, it is a small clipping, but what you observed in it? Uh, team members are holding a word team and they are walking together. Okay. That's what I observed there. And in the equal, equal in distribution the of a work among them. One minute, Marina, ma'am. One minute. Yes, ma'am. Purnima, ma'am. Equal distribution of work among themselves, each equally carrying the the teamwork um, between the team members. Okay, okay, ma'am. Yes, Marina, ma'am. Ma'am, that clipping showed that the, every uh, employee or a member of uh, each member of the team has a weak moment. In those weak moments, the other other employees they help the other employee who is in his weak moment. In the same way, when the uh, person who was in the weak moment becomes strong, he is able to help the other employees who are in their weak moments. So in this way, the weakness is covered by other people's strengths. Excellent, ma'am. Thank you for indirectly your answer. It is and indirectly, it is making people to work together, form a yes. strong team by helping each other. Yes, ma'am. Excellent. So now, in that video, what we saw is everyone is holding something, some weight they are holding, but when their pa some path hole comes, yes. every they are helping each other and that particular person, one who is going to cross, that should be careful he should be careful so yes as a team yes. everyone works together and everyone's uh, role is very very important in a team important. so now we come to a conclusion part first part team building helps workers build skills such as collaboration communication and delegation as uh, Gayatri ma'am has discussed about this and team building is an invaluable resource for organizations seeking to enhance productivity and cul cultivate a positive work environment. Do you agree with the second point? 100%, ma'am. Yes. So, to enhance productivity, cultivate a positive work environment that makes everybody to come together. Like what we yes. speak, collaborative and coordination, these works will work out in this Yes, ma'am. Thank you for your answer, Purnima, ma'am. Team sense of belonging and strong leadership. Thank you, Samriti, ma'am. Yes, next slide, sir. Here we come to an end of the session. Any questions? Any questions or feedback? Or anything uh, you feedback. want to say? I wish to share a feedback with you and uh, this uh, workshop is really making me to recollect and what are the things we have learned so far in the NEP 2020. It is making us to revising them and work more stronger in the school environment. Thank you very much. Thank and you. Sir. All the it's team members. Only... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Team ma'am. Um...
uh, here I just have to uh, uh, share a piece of news with all of you. May I, if you all permit? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes. We are waiting. This Monday, I'm coming with a paid session with SNTTC only. And that is basically how to forget a painful past and replace that uh, painful past memory with a happy memory. So the details and all, though it is put in the webinar groups and everything, it is also put on my social media platform. That is my Instagram ID, tailored979. So uh, those who are interested in joining the workshop can uh, please join that workshop. It's, it's going to be a great help. Uh, this is one of the most powerful techniques of NLP, uh, which I have, uh, you know, which I found it working also. And when I shared it in my school, trust me on this, like um, people were left in tears. This is going to be an overwhelming uh, uh, session for many of you. So those who are interested may get the details of the webinars, either from the webinar groups with uh, of which you people are member of, or you can also go and follow me on my social media platform that is tailored 979. So this was a piece of information which I had to share. And thank you so much for such great feedbacks. I mean, these are the things which make our day wonderful. Thank you so much, all of you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank you, one and all. Uh, before we wind up, uh, I would like to request one of the resource persons to throw light on the uh, train the trainer session as well as soft skill session as well. Sure, sir. I'll take that lead. So uh, we have two more courses which are going on right now. One is Train the Trainer, which is a wonderful platform to become a resource person. If anyone of you is interested to become a resource person, see, I'm not saying that uh, uh, teaching is like, uh, uh, because I am also a teacher, right? But we always have to make an individual identity. Remember when I was talking about goals, I said we should have some professional goals and some personal goals. So yes. both the workshops which are being offered by Sir, both the platforms are a wonderful platform to get an access to your individual identity, to add on a weightage to your profile. We are already benefited out of it. So any one of you, if you want to be the part of this workshop, please go ahead. It's really value for money. Both the workshops, both the um, uh, workshops arranged by Sir are actually value for money. I am a part, so and I'm really indebted to uh, Ravi Sir for having given us such a great platform. Thank you, Ravi Sir, once again. Yeah, thank you so much, Meenu Ma'am. And uh, that was indeed a wonderful uh, insight about the session. So those who wish to become a train the trainer, I mean, <laughs> trainers in future, uh, can join our train the trainer session, which is an ongoing session. We have a wonderful group of 16 trainers now. We have started with one and today we have 16 resource persons uh, who will be definitely becoming, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, like uh, resource persons of great organizations who are constantly applying for uh, CBSC also. Okay, so... Yeah, so that was all about it. And with regard to the certificate of today's session, let me make it clear, all our sessions, most of our sessions are free sessions. Okay, so knowledge is given definitely for free. Today, it is 60 participants. We have done free sessions for 100 participants also. Every, anyone can join. Coming to the point yes. of certificate, as it is uh, lots of work is involved in it, IT is also involved in it. A person is exclusively employed for it. We charge 50 rupees for the certificate. Otherwise, everyone can join and everyone can access the knowledge which is shared by uh, resource persons here. Most of you people are already, you know, like joining our sessions and taking the certificates. Constantly, yes, you people sir. have been with us in this family. It's really yes. wonderful. Yes. Yeah. So today also, Some... those who wish to grab a certificate for today's session need to pay an amount of 50 rupees towards the certificate to the number Double nine zero eight nine two five seven three zero. Sir, can you send it in the? Yeah, sir, I have if sent you don't it in the chat box. Send it in. Okay, I have sent then it it's in fine. The chat box. Double nine zero eight nine two five seven three zero. You can do either yes, GPay, sir. phone pay, or uh, Paytm. After doing okay. that, kindly send a screenshot of that payment to the same number, along with your complete name. If you are particular about Miss, Mrs mention those things also 
you will be getting okay, the certificate sir. within 24 hours these days it person is not available in the late evenings so by tomorrow this time 24 hours you will be receiving the certificate if not you can once again just remind over the same number but you will be getting your certificate so sure sir Someone yeah, asked you. for my Instagram ID. I've already put it in the chat box. It's tailored 979. You can go and access it from there. And the people who would like to listen to the sessions, we have done several sessions before. Uh, you can go on to our YouTube page, Sri Narayani Teacher Training Center. Uh, and you can have access to the content over there. Uh, I just, I would like to just say that as you are getting content without any barriers, Kindly just like, share and subscribe because that motivates us to create more content like that. Yeah. And I appreciate all the resource persons, Mrs. Meenu Kaur Chavla, uh, Mrs. Ashwini Srinivasan and Mrs. Gayatri, who are also the core members of our organization for the wonderful session that they have uh, brought forward. And I should say that they are the wonderful and the best trio of soft skills uh, for teachers that we have got. And uh, I'm pretty much sure in future, we are going to have several sessions by these three resource persons, which are especially focusing on the soft skills for teachers. So thank you one and all. Thank you once again. Thank you, sir, as well. And thank you to all the participants who take their time out.